Hello and welcome. To start, add a movie file in top. I want to use multiple images for this one. To do that, add a folder DAT. Go to the folder DAT parameters, choose the folder where your images are located. I use the default touch designer movies in the nature folder. Set the root folder to the selected folder in the folder DT parameters. Now, these are the movies I have here. To use them correctly, I need to remove some rows and columns. Add a select DAT. I only want the movie file as a result, so go to the select DT parameters and select rows by index. Increase the row index to 1, and then decrease the end row index to 2. For columns, go to select columns by index and increase the column index. These are the movie files. I want one of them for the movie file in top. To do that, select the specific file and decrease the select number by index. Adjust the end row index to zero. To change the file among these options, sort them. You can use random numbers and change the seed to change the address. Use an expression for the movie file in top to select the address of the first row and column. By changing the seed, I have different movie files here. If you want an order instead of a random one, specify the row index alphabetically. Instead of using random numbers,
change the start and end row index. To do that, add a constant chop and use its number for the row index. By changing this number, I have different movies. Assign an LFO to animate that. Add an LFO chop and account chop. Go to the count chop parameters, turn on limit loop min max, and reset the numbers. Set the range between 0 and 4, and assign this number to the start and end row index. Based on the frequency of the LFO, the movies are sequenced. To create an effect for these movies, add a noise top. Set the resolution by connecting the movie file in top to the first input of the noise top. In the noise top parameters, go to the output tab and change RGB to noise. Increase the period decrease the offset, and adjust the amplitude to achieve the desired effect. Add a composite top and connect these two inputs. Change the operation to add. You can animate the noise from its parameters. Now, add an edge top and change the noise parameters to have fewer visible areas. After that, create a feedback loop. Add a feedback top and a level top, then connect these two together. Assign the edge top to the feedback top's target input. Decrease the opacity of the level top to enhance the effect. Add a threshold top to the setup.
Now you have this animated abstract visual. Thank you for watching.